Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how do you use Finviz to find the next currency pair that can move. Okay, I'm talking about the next currency pair that can really trend, a currency pair which will give you excellent reward to risk ratio. Previously, I've recorded a few videos about how to use Finviz. It's a very powerful uh, tool free tool that uh, you can use to find the best currency pair to trade. Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how do you find uh, the best trending pairs, right? how do you trade reversals using Finviz. Okay, so if you have not watched that, uh, you can check that video out. I'll leave the link at the top right. Okay, but in today's video, I want to show you another perspective on how you can use Finviz. Okay, in this video, I want to show you how do you catch the next uh, trending pair, meaning that price hasn't moved yet, and you are trying to predict that, okay, this currency pair might uh, potentially be the next uh, team in the market. So I hope you're excited, right? By the way, please give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of content, right? You really help our channel a lot, okay? Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well because we create a lot of videos like this to serve you, okay? So what will you learn in today's video? Okay, I want to start off the video by explaining to you uh, how the FX market move, okay? Because I cannot go into the steps if I don't cover the theory. So I want to first uh, start off by explaining to you how the FX market works. Uh, this theory that I call the team theory. Okay, only when you understand this, then can you really understand why uh, we use Finvis in this way, right? Why it's uh, ideal that uh, you look at the relative strength performance uh, in the way that uh, I will go through in this video. Okay, after the theory, I'll go into uh, the Finvis itself, of course, uh, how uh, to go to the website. Okay, if you are new, you have not watched that video, uh, you do not know what Finvis is, uh, I will go through that. Okay, I'll go through a step by step. I'll show you how do you access the uh, relative strength performance and how do you use this uh, to find the next trending movement in the market. Okay, again, we are trying to predict the next movement. So this is really very powerful stuff. Okay, there's no other channels out there which teach this kind of stuff because uh, these are concepts that are invented by us. Okay, something that we use, uh, you won't find it anywhere else. Okay, and just as a reward, okay, just as a reward, if you stay to the end, you really watch it through and you really apply it. Okay, I want to show you how do you incorporate the Forex economy make calendar with Finviz. Okay, the Forex Economic Calendar is also another powerful tool. So in this video, I want to show you how do you combine both two powerful tools, the Forex Economic Calendar and the Finviz together at the same time. Okay, this will help you drastically increase your uh, win rate if you can combine the two uh, in a seamless fashion. Okay, now by the way, we also have a free day trading guide for you. So uh, make sure you download that. The link is uh, in the description. Okay, uh, that it consists of a step-by-step -step guide to help you become a better trader. So make sure you check that out. So let's go into uh, the first part of today's video is uh, how does the FX market move? Okay, the first thing you must understand about the FX market is that the market moves in teams. Okay, what do I mean by teams? Okay, basically each currency takes turn to move. So maybe um, this week uh, it's uh, US dollar, meaning that US dollar starts trending. So most of what happens is that most of the currency paired against dollar will be one direction. So you want to be able to identify which is the team because that's where you're going to have the highest probability trade and that's also where you're going to make the most money. Okay, just imagine if let's say the team is Aussie and all the Aussie pairs are bullish. If you were to buy Aussie, of course, you're going to make more money because all other currency pairs are moving in the same direction. Okay, so the first thing you must understand is that uh, the market moves in teams, right? This is also why I personally love Forex because there's always something moving. It's not like, you know, stocks where, you know, um, the price can stay stagnant for three months, four months and doesn't move. Okay, Forex, each of the currency pair takes turns to move. So if you can predict uh, which is, what is the team of the week, then you can make a lot of money. Okay, so I have an example over here. Okay, let's say the team of this week is Aussie. Uh, let's say Aussie is strong. Now, if Aussie is strong, then you expect most Aussie pairs to move. Okay, it can be your Aussie dollar, can be your Aussie yen, could be Aussie, uh, Aussie cat, you know, Aussie kiwi, so on and so forth. Okay, you expect most of it to move 
except for, of course, the next strongest currency. Okay, so in, in this case, if let's say dollar is strong, then of course, Aussie dollar is not going to move because when you pair a strong currency with a strong currency, then uh, the, 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 the pair is not going to move much. Okay, but the main point I want to uh, emphasize here is that the market always moves in teams. So try to look at the Forex market as uh, what team is it this week? What is the market playing at this week? Are they playing the Aussie? You know, are they playing the dollar team? Right. Do not be fixated on just a single singular currency, for example. Okay, I'm only going to trade Aussie dollar and you don't bother uh, monitoring all the Aussie crosses. Okay, it's good to always try to monitor all the crosses and try to establish the team for the week. Okay, this, so this is the first part. Now, I want to show you uh, the main part of today's video is how do you go into Finvis and use the relative strength performance, okay? I have the step-by-step -step here uh, for you, okay? I'll just go through this uh, briefly and then I'll go on to the actual website and show you how to do it, okay? So step one, of course, you go to the website. Then what you want to do is you want to go for the Forex tab and go under the performance and look at the weekly performance. Now, what you will see is you will see the strongest and weakest currency. Okay, in my other video, I said that there is a way for you to trade those. Okay, so again, I'll leave the link at the top right to check out that video if you have not watched it. But let's say uh, in this video, you are not interested in currency pairs that have already moved. Because if they have already moved, then the amount of pips that you can generate from these currency pairs will not be as much as if you are able to catch uh, the next move, meaning that you are able to get in before the market starts trending in a direction. Okay, so in this case, you want to cross them out. You want to cross the strongest and the weakest because these are the currency pairs that have already moved. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. So what this would mean is that initially you have eight currency pairs. Okay, of course, uh, let's not talk about the exotics. But uh, initially you have eight currency pairs to focus on. Okay, uh, you have the Aussie, you have the pound, you have the kiwi, you have the euro, franc, dollar, cat, and yen. But if you were to cross out the strongest and the weakest currency, what happens is that, let's say, assuming that uh, Aussie, okay, let's just assume that Aussie is the strongest and uh, Yen is the weakest. What would happen is that you are only left with six currency pairs to choose from, okay? So if you, you know, you just cl close your eyes and you just choose one of the six, okay, your probability of getting it right is 16.7%. Compared to, you know, previously, if you were to just close your eyes and, uh, you know, just choose one currency pair out of the eight, uh, your probability of getting right is about 12.5%. So this drastically increases your win rate. Okay, but please do not take it out of context. I'm not saying that uh, you just blindly enter a trade. I'm just saying that if you were to not even apply any form of technical analysis, you will still get about 16.7% win rate. Okay, meaning that uh, even you anyhow trade, you don't even look at the charts, you just anyhow guess, uh, there is still a much higher probability of getting it right if you were to do this step alone, which is basically eliminating eight currencies to six currency pairs. Okay, so let me go into uh, the uh, website to show you how do we do it. Okay, so I'm at a uh, Finviz. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on a Forex tab over here. And then after that, you should see a screen like this. Okay, in this case, we're interested in the performance. So just click on the performance and click to the weekly uh, performance. Okay, so what does this tell you? This tells you uh, the relative performance of uh, the, the currency pass against dollar. So of course, dollar against dollar, it's a uh, nail. It is, it's not applicable. But in this case, today is a Wednesday, you can see over here, Wednesday, you can see that the, the strongest currency is Aussie and the weakest currency is Yen. So in this case, you want to be cancelling out Aussie and Yen because remember, we are trying to find the next currency pair that can move. So Aussie has already moved, Yen has already moved. Now in this case, because Pound has also moved almost the same amount of a distance as the Aussie, you can also potentially uh, cross out a Pound. Okay, let me see if I can draw it for you. So I will not trade Aussie, I will not trade Pound and I will not trade Yen. Okay, because this currency has already moved. Okay, again, uh, I want to 
restate my point. If you are looking to find the next move, then you want to cross them out. But of course, if you want to do a trend continuation play, you want to trade momentum and you want to keep riding a trend, then by all means, you can trade the Aussie Yen. You can pair the Aussie uh, with the Yen because Aussie is the strongest and Yen is the weakest. Okay, that's what we taught in the other videos. Okay, as, as I mentioned, it's the link to watch that is on the top right. But in this video, we are interested in finding the next move. So let's say you were to cancel Aussie, you were to cancel Pound, and you were to cancel Yen. That leaves you with only how many currency pairs over here? You have five currency pairs to choose from. So even if you know you close your eyes and you anyhow trade, uh, the probability you catching the next next currency pair that's going to really move in a big manner is about one out of five, which is about 20%. So this is how you use it, right? You are trying to predict. But again, please remember to use this with uh, the charts to analyze your charts. Okay, our free day trading guide has a trading strategy that will place the odds in your favor. So if you have not downloaded it, please make sure you download it. It's free, there's no catch, okay? At the same time, please give us a thumbs up. Really, really, really appreciate it, okay? And hit the subscribe button so that uh, you will not miss a video from us. Okay, so let me just go back to the uh, PowerPoint slide and uh, let me just go through uh, the bonus, which is the last part of today's video. Okay, how do you incorporate Forex uh, economic calendar within this? Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your economic calendar and look at the next, okay? Not the current week, the next week of economic data, okay? A lot of people do not know this. They only look at the current week, okay? You want to have a bit more um, foresight. You want to look into the next week. So what are we trying to do? Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to see what hasn't been moving, okay, from FinVis. Uh, earlier on, you, you, you saw some of the currency pairs haven't been moving. So we are hoping that the economic data of in the next week is going to move price. It's going to be the catalyst that move price. Okay, let me go back into the, um, the website and let me show you how to do it, okay? So right now, over here, we are at the Forex factory. Okay, today it's, uh, today it's the uh, 26th of August. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at one week ahead. So I'm not keen in looking at this week because remember, we are trying to catch the next move. We're not trying to catch the current move. So what you can do is just click here. Then this will bring you to the next week. So you can see that in the next week, you have a uh, pound news, uh, you have Aussie news, uh, you have Aussie news again, and you have pound news, and you have cat news, okay? You have the uh, non-farm payroll. So if you see, uh, pound has already moved, Aussie has already moved, so perhaps uh, this is not a good example, but dollar, dollar hasn't been moving much. Uh, dollar has been, dollar, sorry, not dollar, cat, okay? Because dollar cannot compare with dollar, okay? Let, let's just... Look at CAT. So this is how we use it. Okay, we established earlier on that um, you do not want to be focusing on uh, Aussie. You do not want to be focusing on Pound. You do not want to be focusing on Yen. Okay, so what we did is that uh, we go to the Forex calendar and uh, we say that, okay, next week there is CAT news. So potentially the market might move before the news or after the news. Okay, we do not know, but this will definitely be a catalyst that moves price. So you can see that cat hasn't been moving. So what you can do is you can start looking for a cat, uh, cat pairs. You can look at dollar cat, you can look at euro cat, doesn't matter. You look at your cat pairs and try to get in into your cat pairs before the market moves. Okay, so that's how you try to find a currency pair that has not yet moved and you try to uh, enter in before uh, the market move and hopefully when you enter in early, you are able to catch a big, uh, you know, you are able to get in early and therefore you're able to get a very good uh, risk to reward. Okay, so hopefully that is clear again. Uh, if you are not sure of anything, uh, just leave a comment down below. We'll be happy to help you. Okay, uh, we, we do read your comments uh, every single day, especially if you have any important questions. Okay, so just to recap, uh, in today's video, uh, I talk you through how the FX market move, right? Basically, it's the team theory. Uh, the market always move in teams. You want to find the team that the market is trading on and ideally try to trade that team, okay? If you cannot catch the current team, then try to catch the next team. So that is the purpose of today's video. How do you catch the next team? 
Then I also showed you how to go into FinVis and use the relative strength performance to filter out currency pairs. Okay, you go to the website, it's a free tool, and uh, you look at the strongest and the weakest currency pair and you cross them out meaning that uh, you don't want to trade those. Okay, if you want to learn how to trade those, then uh, check out the video, the links on the top right. Okay, that's why I went through in this video. And lastly, I am, uh, showed you the bonus, which is how do you incorporate the Forex Economic Calendar with Finvis? Basically, you just click on the next week of economic data. You do not look at the current week and you try to align the uh, Forex Economic Calendar uh, data with Finvis, uh, with what hasn't moved yet, right? Because Finvis shows you what has already moved and what hasn't moved. So ideally, you want to combine what hasn't moved with a economic news that is happening in the following week because that will serve as the catalyst to spark the movement. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you got a, a lot of value from this video. Okay, this is a very uh, interesting concept that we come up with, right? You won't find it anywhere else. So if you really like our work, right, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it a lot, right? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Okay, if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.